Fighting around the Nagorno-Karabakh region was reported overnight and throughout Friday. The Azerbaijani Defense Ministry released drone footage of what they say were targeted blasts on Armenian military hardware on Friday night. The Armenian Defense Ministry also released footage of several explosions which took place the same day. Nagorno-Karabakh reported 51 more military casualties on Saturday. The ethnic Armenian enclave inside Azerbaijan said Azeri forces had again launched rockets towards its main city, Stepanakert, just a week after the opposing sides began pounding each other with tanks and missiles. The clashes are the worst since the 1990s and raise the risk of a wider regional war that could draw in Russia and Turkey. It comes amid deepening concern about stability in the South Caucasus, where pipelines carry Azeri oil and gas to world markets. Armenia said on Friday it would work with Russia, the United States and France on renewing a ceasefire in Nagorno-Karabakh. Azerbaijan's president Ilham Aliyev told Al Jazeera on Friday that the Minsk group had failed for the past three decades to make progress on the dispute, adding that a ceasefire could only be achieved if Armenian forces withdrew.